Question number five says a dentist drill starts from rest after 3.3 seconds of constant angular acceleration. It turns at a rate of 2.9 times 10 to the fourth revolutions per minute. Find the drill's angular acceleration in radians per second squared. And B, determine the angle in radians through which the drill rotates during this period. So here's what we have to do. We know that um, it, so the, we know what t equals. T equals or the change of t rather, but it's t. Time is 3.3 seconds, and we know that the the uh, angle is given to us as as a uh, 2.9 times 10 to the fourth revolutions per minute, and so we got to convert that to um, radians per second and so the way we can set that up is, is 2.9 times 10 to the fourth um, and we'll say revs over minutes and we can times that by by 2 pi by 2 pi um, actually um, let's do this this way yeah so we'll say so 2 pi uh, radians over one revolution and then uh, so and then we can times that by um, we can times that by 60 seconds so one minute over 60 seconds and so whenever we multiply that out what ends up happening what uh, what we get is uh, the minute cancels out and the revolutions cancel out and so this is in radians and so we get um, we get our answer in radians per second so the, the top number will be 182212.3739 divided by 60. So divided by 60 equals 3036.87 radians uh, per radians per second per second. And that's the final uh, angular velocity. So, so omega final equals this this number three 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 zero three six point eight seven point eight seven. And so we know that now we know what the the final angular velocity is. We know that the initial angular velocity equals zero because it started from rest. We know that the change of t equals equals uh, 3.3 seconds and so we can set up our equation for angular acceleration which would be angular velocity final minus angular velocity initial divided by the change of time equals angular acceleration and so we just plug in our numbers so 3036.87 divided by 3.3 so the angular acceleration equals 900 and let me make my equal sign better. Equals 920.26 um, uh, radians per uh, radians per second squared. So acceleration per second squared. And then it wants to know determine the angle in radians through which the drill rotates during this period. So we're looking for for the angular uh, the angular displacement. So um, this in linear kinematics is equal or is, or is uh, synonymous with or analogous to to displacement or or change of x. So there's a bunch of ways you can find the change of x, but um, I'm I'm going to do it like this. So there, you could set it up as as theta equals omega initial times change of or times uh, not time but times yeah times time plus one half of angular acceleration times times squared but I, I think that this is this is too much going on here whenever you can do it with um, you can do it like this you can say that the final the final angular velocity squared minus the initial angular velocity squared divided by divided by 2 times the angular acceleration equals equals the angular displacement uh, but by the way I keep saying angular velocity 
Um, the book likes angular speed better. I've heard it both ways, but the I think the textbook that we have kind of uh, disses saying angular velocity. So angular speed would be our um, our omega. Um, so anyhow, re regardless, this quantity is going to be zero, and this quantity we we said is um, what did we say it was? We said it is. 3036.87 so 3036.87 so we'll come over here 3036.87 squared divided by 2 times the angular acceleration which we said was 920.26 so 2 times 920.26 and then this equals our our radians that we've went through our 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 angle. So if you plug in your numbers in your calculator, you should get that the angular displacement is 5010.86. And this should be radians.